Fisher, somewhere in Taunton. How long does the sat nav see me? <coughs> Hour and a half. Hour and a half. Well, you know, we're looking for something to do, aren't we? Yeah. We're we'll driving. Yeah. Whilst uh, we've got the freedom to do it in between lockdowns. Um, is there anything in particular that you're looking for in this one? No, <clears throat> just going down to have a look. I did phone them up. They said they got an angler there, um, which is about 40 quid. So is an angler the same as a frogfish? Yeah, it's a fr frogfish, angler, all the same. Okay, okay. So brown one. So you've got a yellow one and you've got a red <clears> one, <throat> and I'll maybe, maybe. we'll be coming on with a brown one. Giant one to be honest. <laughs> Giant one. <laughs> but this is small, he said no. I said, well, the red one I got is about six inches, isn't it? Yeah. I said, oh no, no, not that big, I think that big. I was like, well, I've seen them like that. That's yeah. what I've been, you know, what I'm hoping for. <laughs> You're going this the size of your fingernail. <laughs> yeah. It's like, come on, man. surely you had it someone out there got flipping. They probably don't import big ones. It's probably I know, like, take up too much space. Yeah, with clams, there's like a little. They only bring in little ones, don't they? Yeah. You know, to see a big clam coming in, you, <clears throat> big clams are generally grown up in people's aquariums, like. Yeah. But we'll see what's there anyway. So that's the usual circumstances that you'd get a big frogfish, isn't it? Someone's brought it back. Someone's brought it in, you know. Two or three inches. There must be certain like requirements for importation of certain fish. I'm pretty sure of it. Like. Yeah. Um, Alright then, well, I'm gonna do my knitting as I do on these long trips. Get back to you when we're there. A couple of months around. Yeah. <clears throat> and if they'll let us film whilst we're in there, then we'll film some of their stock. Buy them Maggie D's on the way back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cheap. I reckon they could charge a lot more for him. He's lovely. 
he's going to look even better in his tank so we'll film him more when we're home Hello. Hello. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in. Where is he? No. Old Red's out. Fat as hell. He's ginormous. He is, isn't he? When you think about it. Mind you, I still look up there and think that's one. Yeah, I'm gonna stick him up there, but then he's gonna fit into all my. Here's the other one, don't leave him out. Hello! We did. Oh, you know so the one. <laughs> Look at his little eye, it looks like he's got eyes and noses. Open marks in it. Mm. So, there's the new one. Dripped. How much tank has he got in him? Um, well, the only one he can really go in is down on there. You can get eaten. There's loads of shrimps in there, which are going to go in there. The only other option is sticking them in this on the other side of this but I'd have to make a barrier so you can share with the other frogfish well if that frogfish doesn't move from that spot yeah so I've got this but obviously it's it's not hard like hmm decisions decisions I mean you can't put down there I don't camp him in here because he's probably a little thing I can nip off. It's a little angular thing, isn't it? Mm. Oh, can you move the mollies up there? Which mollies? Right to the top. Can I move them with these ones or is it too many of them? I could do. Oh, there's I could stick all the mollies in here and have them up there. He got a head of something stuck in his mouth. Yeah, it's a shrimp. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah fed him earlier. Do you like it? Yeah. Well, when I'm here to film you today, matey, we want little. This little dude. Yeah. Green goblin. Yeah. Oh, come on. Considering he was black when I got him. <laughs> Camouflage. What camouflage? Look at him. That is quite a transformation in colour. Talk about fitting in with your surroundings. I'm going to take him back. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I bought this uh, 
two months ago, uh, I bought a black uh, frogfish and now... I ordered a black one. It's green. What is this thing? Uh, and your shirt's alive and it's not just rotting. <laughs> All I think is green, I can see it kills me. That is one heck of a fish. <gasps> Go on. He's, doing, he's trying to catch you. He's trying to eat Go you. Go to catch me. Eat you. I'm too fast for you. I think she's a bit big for you. I'm very flattered that you think that I could fit in your belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'd have a go, I know you would. You'd just get a bit of milk in his mouth. Uh-uh, please, I'm finding my fish. Okay. He's a warty looking dude, that. Shake your feathers, baby. Is he shaking out at me or is there something towards his eyes? Uh, he only gets excited, he, he does it. I know it's like if I take the lid off, he, he does it really frantically. Um, but also, he does it when you stare at him. Oh, is he upside down or something? Hmm. His mouth is. His mouth? His mouth opens like that. No, it doesn't. It just did. His mouth opens like that. Oh, he's twisted round. I see. Yeah, you I see. see. He's getting so a bit. He's actually. I do that. His mouth is upwards. Yeah? Look, see his eyes, his mouth, yeah. his tail. Like, come on, because you're stressing, bro. Stressing him out. Well, if I was a diver. <coughs> you should be stressing him. Whatever you will, whatever you will, you're stressing him. Alright then. Ah! Lunch I suppose if you've gone to all that trouble to camouflage yourself. You don't really want me poking the camera at you, do you? Alright, it must be lovely to see you. Oh, we just finished off by looking at these two little fishies up here. Two little babies. Something's given birth in the tank. Here's the other frog fish. He doesn't mind me, he just looks me. Just give me the eye. Like, uh, So we were going to call this black painted crawfish or whatever, wart skinned. We're going to have to call it green now. Okay, I don't want to stretch it. Bye bye. Whilst the uh, fish room is empty, I'm just going to sneak in and have a little look at what was the black frogfish. Froggy fish. Look at him. <gasps> oh, that is awesome. Isn't that amazing? You change to suit their environment. We all know that chameleons can change to stress and things like that, but why doesn't this lovely, ugly little creature get the publicity he deserves for being able to transform himself like that, or herself? Just magnificent. So in case you're wondering, just give your finger up to this here. There's the cameras. So there, oh, I'll do it on the uh, packaging. This is the front view of him, or her. That's the little thing he waggles. They waggle, I'll say they. She doesn't know if it's a he or she. Whatever. It's just so amazing. Look at 
the shape of these as well. I mean, to give you an idea of how it looks in other colours, there's the other frogfish. You can clearly see the eye there. And the mouth, the upturned mouth, downturned mouth, I should say. So this is like a mirror um, position. Let's see if I can focus on that eye a little more. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Amazing, amazing. I'm not going to stress them out too much. Having me looking at their beautiful faces. But, uh, they're in the same tank, but there is this barrier in between. Which goes all the way to the back. So they can't get at each other. Before I go, I'll just quickly show you. We still have big red down here. I wonder now that the coral behind him is uh, being covered in algae, whether that one will change colour as well. It already has those little white bits on it, mimicking the sand. To watch this space and we'll see what happens if you fancy it subscribe and like you get to see what happens over the coming weeks and months and years of the tank maturing even further and these fish maturing even further bye